if I'm just in this apartment and I stand up for like a total of half of a second, I'm like sweating bullets. The weather here is insanely hot, humid, and I just, I cannot, I just cannot. It's stormed like every single day I've been here. I'll get through it. Do you miss Gracie? Gracie is Destiny's cat who ran away about two weeks ago. And of course I miss her. She would keep me company and she was just the sweetest little cat. She loved to be held. It's devastating. I just hope that she's in a good place right now. Are you looking for a job? Yes, of course I'm looking for a job. I actually know quite a few people who are currently living in Florida that I know personally who are looking for jobs and a few of them have been looking for months and haven't been able to find anything. I'm grateful enough that I am getting income because I am a YouTube partner. How is Crystal doing? Crystal and I talk every single day. We have FaceTimed and we text pretty much all day. Her and I are best friends and we will continue to be and Destiny really accepts that relationship. Crystal's actually doing really, really good. Does Destiny snore? She has snored a few times, but it's not like a manly snore. Nothing like, <laughs> nothing crazy like that. It's definitely like a little small, faint sounding thing. And it's not even every night. Have you heard from your family lately? I don't really talk to my parents. They're both going through their own life. That's just pretty much how it's been since I was a little girl. They do them and I do me. I'm just gonna embrace it and accept it. I'm at a, such a happy place in my life. I did tell my brother that I live in Florida and he was shocked. The only time I really talked to him was just that one time. What do you do that annoys Destiny the most? I really don't feel like I annoy her much. Sometimes I'll like pick up things a certain way that she just, she can't handle it. I'm gonna give you guys an example. Davis was a piece of trash and she was handing it to me. She'd be like, here you go, baby. And I'd be like, okay, garbage. She always says, it doesn't have a disease. If you won billions of dollars in a lottery, what would you do with it? I would make it to where I felt good in my environment, meaning I would buy a house, my dream home. I would spend money on really nice furniture, I would get really nice cars. I would go places that I've never been before and that I dream of going to. But most importantly, I would help the people who helped me my whole life. I would give money to charities who deserved it and needed it. Do you and Destiny talk about getting healthier together? She knows that I was on a weight loss journey before I met her. She understands that I lost 89 pounds at one point and gained it all back. She accepts these parts of me. She loves me as I am and who I is but she wants me to do what would make me happier. She knows I wanna go back on my weight loss journey and she's 110% supportive. As for her and her health, she is very healthy, she is young, and she's never had to worry about her weight. I'm young too, but unfortunately I'm morbidly obese and she isn't. If I start counting calories, she said she will too. She's a very supportive person and I appreciate that so much. Does Crystal and Destiny still talk? They've freaking FaceTime together, okay? They do talk, they text on occasion. How would you feel if Crystal visited you? I would be all freaking for it. We've talked about it already. We have not talked about me visiting there, but more so her visiting here. She wants to meet Wasabi, my cat. She wants to see the environment I'm in and it would be freaking fun and awesome. Even Destiny's like, hell yes, bring her down here. As for like emotionally, I'm sure it'll be hard to see her again. I think it would be good to kind of grow our friendship more. Are you and Destiny planning to marry one day? Destiny and I are both two people who do want to get married in the future. Whether that's together, we don't know. But I will tell you this, Destiny does say she wants to spend forever with me and that she sees herself proposing to me and that honestly makes me feel like on top of the world. If Destiny proposed to me, I'd most definitely say yes. What happened to going vegetarian? Being a vegetarian is definitely something I'm still interested in. Living on my own has been extremely hard. Money is scarce. I mean, it's practically non-existent. I don't even know what money is anymore. All money goes to bills, 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 and rent. Becoming a vegetarian takes a lot of planning if you want to be a healthy vegetarian. You can't just be like, vegetarian bitches. Again, planning is key. A person needs a lot of protein in their diet and at the weight that I'm in, I need a little more than the average. Meat has a lot of protein in it for just the littlest bit. Example, let's say I eat 100 calories of a grilled chicken. That is already 20 protein right then and there. If I'm a vegetarian and say I'm getting my protein from beans, I would easily have to eat 600 calories in beans just to get 20 protein. That depends on the bean, but it's still not something I'm 100% sure I'm willing to deal with right now. 
If I plan on losing weight and I plan on counting calories or doing Weight Watchers or whatever I choose to do to lose that weight, getting my protein in is going to be insanely hard if I'm trying to keep my calories at a lower limit. I am only eating meat purely because I feel like I need it, not because I'm 100% enjoying it. What kind of school did you used to go to? I went to a college and I was majoring in criminal justice. Do you think Crystal is jealous when she sees how in love you and Destiny are? 110% no, not even a little bit, not at all. She just says how happy she is that I'm happy and that makes me happy. So we're just like a bundle of happy and joy and just happiness spewing out of our ears. What does Destiny do that annoys you the most? That's so easy. It's the fact that she does not pick up her messes. It's not that she's a lazy person. She's just the type of person who, as an example right here, who will have a drink of something and set it somewhere and then not pick it up. Everyone has their little things and that's one of hers. What's been the hardest thing about living on your own? Money, 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 money. You have to pay close attention to every little thing that you buy. I literally, I am so like responsible when it comes to money, when you have to be responsible with it. I will literally sit there with a piece of paper and write down every single thing that we need to pay for throughout the month, when we need to do it, how much it's going to cost. I am so OCD with it and it's just so freaking stressful. I've never lived on my own before. I've never had to deal with my own money before. So this is new to me. Where and when did you guys meet? Well, technically we met online on an app. The app was who's here. <laughs> yeah. And I was only looking for friends at the time. And I had a previous account on it that got all messed up and catfished and shit so i was just checking to make sure i still wasn't on there she sent me a message first i did she's cute she was cute she is cute we actually met in person in person on july 3rd at like one in the morning me yeah. and my mammy and my pappy drove together yeah how long were we talking before that we started talking on april 10th yeah, we started talking April 10th. So it kind of happened quickly, everything, but that's okay. Where was your first date? Um, we tried to go to the movies we to did, see Gallows. The Gallows, yeah. Um, it was my date to the 4th of July for my family. Do you want to consider that our first date? We can. Why not? Oh, okay. And we started dating on that day. Like, <laughs> dating. Like, official, like, Facebook official <laughs> dating. I'm gonna say our first date was 4th of July yep. to your family's cookout. Mm -hmm. When was your first kiss and who initiated it? Okay, I wanna, I wanna answer this. First kiss was July 3rd in the van, in the dark, while her mammy and pappy are in the front seat. And we're just like getting close to each other cause- I was doing this. Yeah, we're like this. <laughs> and she initiated it. But I went, like, as soon as she initiated it, like, I wanted to go, like, head on, like, make out sesh. There was a big gap in between us because it was a minivan and, you know, like, there's, like, captain seats, captain seats, and then one big bench seat. Well, we had taken the bench seat out for all of her stuff to go, and we had the two captain seats, so there was a big gap between us. So I was, like, trying my heart, so I was like this on her arm, like, trying to kiss her. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I kissed her. I did it. How um, was it? I loved it. It <laughs> felt good. Stop talking like that. What was your first impression of each other? Online, I thought she was super cute. I thought she was super beautiful. <laughs> and then when I met her in person, I was like, holy shit, she's short and perfect as hell. I just thought she was perfect. Shut up. As soon as she opened that door and I saw her in person and she like grabbed me up. Like she squeezed me. <laughs> yes, I hugged grabbed her. me up and hugged me. It would have been more if there wasn't people around, yeah. if you know. How long have you been together? Almost a month. The fourth will be one month. But it feels like longer because we felt like we were in a relationship, like long distance, but she didn't want to ask me to be her girlfriend until like we met in person. Yep. What's your favorite memory together? Probably.